I'm going to make a video, uh, try, I'll try to make this as quick as possible, but it's a video on how to make an electrolysis tank or an e-tank. Um, mine is very simple, it's probably not the best setup, but it works. So I'll show you what I did. Basically I got, had a set of jumper cables that got ripped in half, and what I did was I went ahead and I, I, I separated the clamps, and uh, here I'll show you on this side, it's the easiest. What I did was I took the wire from this one, I ran it over and I pinched it in between this clamp and this piece of bar. Excuse me. I took the wire from this one, did the same thing over here. Then, let's see if I can show you. I took the wire here and I spliced another wire into it. And that wire runs around, comes over here, did the same exact thing on this side. Then what I did is I stripped the wire down in the middle. You see right there. Strip the wire down. That's where I hook up my positive from my battery charger. Then what I did was I suspended the piece of cast iron inside the water with a piece of copper wire. That's actually from the same strip of wire as this. I just stripped all the the plastic rubber coating off of it and used that. And then I hook up my negative to that. Um, before I suspended that though, I filled this full of water. Uh, it was nine buckets of water. It's supposed to be a 40 gallon tote. But because it bows out, it actually took an extra five gallons. So I read you're supposed to use one tablespoon of baking soda to every five gallons. So I went with ten scoops just to be safe. And uh, anyways, I filled it up. Put my, or actually, I put a gallon of water, a bucket of water in all of my baking soda, and then I filled it. Then I went ahead and suspended my cast iron and hooked up the jump, or not jumper cables, but the uh, the leads off the battery charger, which is over here, and then went ahead and set it to 10 amps, and I set it to SLI, which is for a car battery. I don't know, I believe you're supposed to do it for a car battery, but somebody might chime in and say you're not. Anyways, that's what I've been doing, it's been working, so went ahead and set it like that, and then I plugged it in. You'll notice the meter says it's at full, or charging. The light, on the other hand, does not say full charge just power on, which means this particular battery charger is still charging. This one, when the light turns green, it stops, but it hasn't done it. It just keeps on going, so I haven't been too worried about it. I've heard that some battery chargers, though, the full charge light will pop on, and it stops. So you might have to get a battery charger that actually has a manual on-off switch. Anyways, we'll come back over here. I don't know how well this is showing up. I'm using a tablet, so it doesn't have the best video. But you can actually see it's bubbling. There's bubbles coming off of it. And you can't see it real well, but there's actually a current that is slowly moving in this thing. Let's see if you can't see it. Anyways, because of electricity and the baking soda and everything, I don't know exactly how it works, but it does cause a slight current. It could be the bubbles coming off, I don't know. Anyways, that's how I got mine set up. I did a 5 quart and a 7 quart Dutch oven and it worked great actually. I was really shocked at how well it actually stripped the rust and everything off. I did have to actually take some steel wool and scrub it some more once I took it out, but I believe that's normal. But anyways, I'm sorry if I was long winded, but that's my e-tank and that's how it works. Um, oh yeah, one other thing I will, I will point out, um, some people are probably already thinking this. If you notice, I'm actually using metal posts or pieces of bar. It's actually better if you get some metal plates and get a, like a big, long, wide plate and do it in all four corners. It actually works better that way. I just built this out of what I had in my garage, and because I'm doing a skillet, rather than spread it all out, I went ahead and did it front and back of the skillet to try to pull off the, the, the cred. So, anyways, figured I'd mention that real quick. So, uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them. Uh, any advice? Like I said, I'm still learning. Uh, advice is more than welcome, as long as you're not an asshole. <laughs> Have a good day.